There are two basic types of polar equations for circles. In the first one, we have r equals plus or minus 2a sine theta, where the radius is the absolute value of a. It's centered a units above or below the origin, depending on whether the coefficient of sine is positive or negative. In this example, r1 equals 6 sine theta, so let's graph that. And notice it's a circle, the radius of 3, centered 3 units above the origin. Now for the second type of polar equation of a circle, we have r equals plus or minus 2a cosine theta, where the radius is again the absolute value of a. It's centered a units to the right or left of origin, again depending whether a is positive or negative. And the example for r2 is negative 8 cosine theta. Let's graph that. It's a circle located to the left of the origin because a is negative. It's centered 4 units to the left of the origin and the radius equals 4.